Hello, this is Yannis from OnRepair. Today we will go through a, a repair for a Lenovo 50-70 that uh, came to our lab dead. We will try to fix this uh, by using only multimeter and optical inspection. Let's check how we'll do this. So we have a Lenovo G50-70 that is dead. Let's uh, try and plug our charger to see its consumption. You can see that uh, it directly consumes about 5 amps. That's a short in uh, the main rail. So we must diagnose it. To diagnose this, uh, we must uh, remove everything and uh, check the DC section and the current sensor resistor that feeds all the board with 19 or 20 volts and determine if we have a main rail short. If we cannot uh, disassemble the motherboard or we have access to a back converter which is having two MOSFETs, of course an upper and a lower, we can check on the upper MOSFET because uh, it's uh, feeding the 19 volts to the coil after the conversion and the switching that is doing and uh, has a lot of capacitors that are filtering the main rail in order to make it smoother we will try to, di to diagnose this one with a multimeter and as quickly as possible we will spot a MOSFET, uh, an upper MOSFET in order to identify the filtering capacitors around it so we will check for short there on the capacitors in order to check for main rail short. As you can see the ohm value on these uh, capacitors are very low, both sides, so it is a short. We have not disassembled the notebook to reach the current sensing resistor which is the right thing to do. The result is main rail short. Let's go and use our eyes to check for something obvious. We will turn this uh, notebook upside down, we'll open the lid and uh, check uh, for something weird, something funny, uh, because uh, this uh, kind of consumption and uh, this ohm value that we have measured on the capacitors, it looks like uh, it is a short capacitor for me. So we must check and see where we can find this sorted capacitor. No need of special tools, uh, no need of thermal camera, although it's a valuable tool because uh, you're earning time and time is precious in our work. We will look around for uh, something weird. This is not so weird. We can see the module number of the motherboard. And some were here, if we can see. This is it. We have spotted an ugly capacitor uh, that seems burnt. Let's remove this capacitor and check its value. No special tools uh, are needed for this job. Again, we can use uh, our soldering iron, even uh, a screwdriver to remove this capacitor. It is burnt, it is useless. We will use uh, our heat gun and uh, tweezer. It is uh, welded very good because uh, it is short and heated. We have removed this capacitor. We will uh, now use our multimeter to check its value. 
and uh, determine if it is shorted or not, or if this is a problem, which is, of course. As you can see, this capacitor is now a wire. So, the short is gone, and the rail is free of shorts. Let's test the notebook now. But before we test, I want to go back uh, to the place we were testing the capacitors on the upper MOSFET uh, on any rail here that uh, we have uh, first measured and determined that is a main rail short to check if it is shorted or not. This is the ground, and this is not a ground now, the short is gone, so we were measuring the right point, and you can do it too. The rail is free of shorts, as we said before, and now we can uh, safely plug the charger and check uh, if we will have display or not. We will turn the notebook again, we will lift its lid. We will plug the charger now. You see the consumption? It's very healthy. It is very good. And uh, we will uh, press the power button in order to check if it is everything okay or not. is on, you see the consumption, and we have display, the problem is no more. That was the repair as you saw, if you like this video, consider like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching, see you in another repair, bye.